Right now we're at St. Ambrose Cellars in uh, Honor, I guess, maybe Northern Michigan. Um, went up to see my grandma, talked to her, saw some deer antler mounts from my grandpa. Uh, we might sell, give her some money on that. I guess I'll show you those. So anyway, he mounted all those. You know, he did all the mounting on them. Every single one. Yeah, so it looks great. And some of them He's are got the year. skulls, which is... <laughs> People would, I, I guarantee yeah. people would buy these and they'd pay a lot of money for, like, especially, yeah, is that an elk? One. Yeah. I don't even know, but I mean, especially like those, I don't, I would feel bad to sell them all. I mean, if you want to get rid of them, <laughs> I'll take them and I'll keep one or two and I'll sell the rest. I'll give you the money for it. I don't buy any money. Well, then I'll figure out something I can give you a gift or something. <laughs> you don't need there. You don't have to give me anything. I don't need anything. But, uh... Kind of cool. Um, but we're mostly just, like, chilling out and hanging out here. Big, big red barn. They do uh, cider and, and meads here. I think mostly meads. Um, really cool place. Huge. There's Ashley over there. We got our seat, and I got a burger, and she got some jackfruit, whole jackfruit. So, and of course, some, uh, oh no, they come to your table to get drinks. And I think I'm gonna get a wild ginger mead, and I don't know what she's gonna get, but kind of a nice, just simple up north trip. And here's our, uh, here's the building right there. Here's like the interior of the building. It's kind of got like, reminds me of like a monastery <laughs> of some sort, like a church. And I kind of think they're going for that look. This is what I just like about being up in northern Michigan is there's just space to do stuff. Like where in Metro Detroit could you have all this space? I think these are beehives. I'm not going to touch them in case there's, you know, there's a bee flew out right there. I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. Wow. I'm not going to get any closer than this. Yeah, they're getting mad at me. That's awesome though. As you can see them crawling around. And I'm sure if you pull that out, there's just tons of honey in there. And we're gonna be drinking that honey in about five minutes. Yes. What'd you get, Ashley? I got the Grateful Head uh, Draft Sizer, which is a touch of habanero with mango and apple. I got the Third Eye IPA, True Hazy IPA. I got the After Hours Brown, which is a brown ale with sugar and molasses. Oh, it's a beer? Yes. And then the Stout, the Scotty's Oatmeal Stout. So I can try these two? Yes. No, because then... this one's IPA. Oh, it is? Yeah. That looks like a... Oh, it is This pretty one's hazy. a Sizer. And then I got the Ginger the Wild tangy. Ginger Draft Mead, Tangy Ginger Sweet Honey. Mmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... Try them all and then tell me what one you like the most. Oh, food's ready. Food's done. Okay, well, I'm gonna get that and then yeah. we'll come back and you tell me. Okay. So I got a mushroom burger. We got truffle fries. Mm -hmm. I actually got jackfruit with pickles, kind of like a pulled pork, but yeah. the pork <laughs> grew out of the ground. Pulled jackfruit, BBQ jackfruit coleslaw, dill yeah. pickle. It smells really good. Yeah. Well, this is a gluten free bun. If you can, you know, there's a very small subset of people who actually. Yeah. Know how, how lucky it is to have like a real baked gluten free bun. It looks um, porous and everything. Yeah, right. It's not just like out of a plastic bag at Chick fil A or something. Oh man, I'm so excited to eat this. Yeah, this is going to be good. One more glamour shot of the burger. This really is like the best gluten free bun yes. I have ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. <clears throat> it's huge. Yeah, it's it is. huge. Okay, Ashley gave them all a sip. I tried that one too. Is there like habanero in there? Yeah, it's, it's really like good. a mango. <clears throat> I'd say it's better than mine. The grateful. A touch of habanero with yeah. mango That's and the good. apple. What's your favorite beer? Mm. I mean, the third eye IPA is like really good. Point to it. That one. That's the, the third best one. I, no, I would say either. I think the brown ale, probably. I would say is like the best tasting of the it's a brown ale with sugar and molasses but they're all good they're all good we're in beulah right now which is close to benzonia yeah. which is a little tiny downtown area on crystal lake 
in uh, northern Michigan. I'll show you some better shots of it. Just a little tiny strip downtown. We're going to, what's it called again? Five Shores Brewery. Five Shores Brewery. But first, I want to go to Crystal Lake right there and just look out. Because Crystal Lake is one of like, I forget the name of them, but like in Limonog Limonogical, the study of lakes, whatever that's called. Um, super old lakes have really clear water because they're only like sandy bottoms and all the, the life cycle of like algae blooms is exhausted. And so this lake and Torch Lake, and I forget the other one, but they're like a rare class of lake that's cool to look at. So that's the sand on Crystal Lake. And I'm gonna go over and you can like begin to see in the water, it's just sand. Just keep on going. There are no sizable rocks at all in this lake. And it's really beautiful. It's cold, the water's cold too. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of like restaurants like this, like the Cold Creek Inn, but we're going in this small town. I don't know, I guess there's probably 800 people who live here year round, is the brewery right there. And I'm gonna get some ciders and I think Ashley's gonna get some beer probably. They also have a mead. Oh, they have mead too, I'll have some more mead. I wonder if the honey comes from the same farm. But there it is, Five Shores. That's a really cool mural. It's a rainbow trout drinking off the tap. <laughs> I like that. Let's see if it's worth it. All right, so what I got is a mango habanero mead. I actually got a confetti beer, which I don't remember what's in there, but this glass, it's kind of unique looking. It's small, tapered at the bottom, and then like a tapered lip on top. And apparently it's called a tiku glass, T-E-K-U, which I've never heard of that before, but pretty cool. Ashley, how was your beer? Good. It's a double IPA. It's pretty hoppy, but doesn't have like... Do you taste the confetti? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine was good, too. Mango habanero. A little bit spicier than uh, St. Ambrose Cellars, but I don't know. It's pretty good. And then you can see that it says Tiku right there on the bottom of the class. Hmm. So I don't know if that's the brand or what, but I'm interested about it. Okay, now we're in Frankfurt and we're gonna do about my favorite thing ever, and that's getting some mineral water. It's free. You just go up with your cup and you just, this is my cold brew cup from this morning, getting some delicious free oh, mineral water. Ashley's gonna get some too. It's, it halts your aging. If you can ignore the, kind of smells like sulfur a little bit, but it's good. That's the, that's the best water I've ever had that came out of a spring in Frankfurt, Michigan. This is the beach at Frankfurt. So I don't know if we're the furthest west in the lower peninsula of Michigan. I don't think we are, but we're pretty close to it. And so just like you go that way for a hundred miles and you hit Wisconsin, like there's a peninsula over there, Door Island or Door County, I think is what it is. It's pretty cool. It's a good place to come and sit and think, especially if you don't mind <laughs> some fish heads. Look at all these motorcycles. It must be some kind of <laughs> motorcycle thing. I don't know. Tour. Oh yeah, let's get some engine revs. Got a cool three-wheeler. Oh, that's an awesome one, Vander Paul. Hey. On one side we've got the Frankfurt Hardware, and then there, Storm Cloud Brewery. That's our next, our next stop. I'm gonna get a cider. Ashley's gonna get who knows what. We're at Storm Cloud. Lots of good beers, but they also got Underberg, which is a an herbal digestive. If and, you know, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm getting the one cider they have. What'd you get? Uh, Gerald's talking dog. 
Okay, there we go. Should be good. Well, here's my cider. Dry. Let's say it's a 6 out of 10. How's your beer? How many out of 10? How many? Six or seven. Six or seven out of ten? I can taste a cherry, so maybe a seven. Oh, that's good to hear. Know. It's, you know, basic. So now we're across the street, so I feel okay talking <laughs> about them, but how would you rate Stormcloud Brewery, Ashley? Four and a half out of ten. Yeah, four. It's. She cut me off again on the way out after she lied to I us. know. <laughs> a very, like, weirdly pretentious place. St. Ambrose, A+. Plus. Uh, five Shores, A+. Plus. Stormcloud, C minus, like I would never, I'm not going back there again, but now we'll get some sushi and probably I'll just, you know, some good old Northern Michigan sushi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. Okay, so we're back where we're staying and I have a few, a few thoughts about what's happening with Northern Michigan. Lived here for a few years, visit here quite a bit. Um, and Frankfurt is now like Chicago land. This is just full of Chicago people. Beulah and Benzonia, which used to be nothing towns, are now like cool places to go. And that's just like the natural progression, I guess, of how this works. You know, the, the towns that were nothing. Like when I was growing up, Frankfurt was kind of cool, but there wasn't a lot there. It was not like a vacation hotspot. Now there's all these breweries and fusion restaurants and out-of-state phone numbers on rental, <laughs> on rental signs and everything. And that's just like the natural way it goes, I guess. So probably in 30 or 40 years, it's going to be like Traverse City. And then Benzona and Beulah are going to be like Frankfurt right now. And then like the UP or like St. Ignace or, you know, wherever is going to be like, or Sheboygan is going to be like the new Frankfurt, which is the new Traverse City. And that's just, I don't know. You can kind of get upset about it, I guess. Or you can just like, that's the way things go and try and find where the next opportunity is and insert yourself there and make money off that. So we're gonna go in and we didn't even get Thai or the fusion food there. It was 15 bucks for crab rangoon. Are you kidding me? In Frankfurt, where do they get it from? You know, it's just like, so we went to Tom's and I got some more, more potato salad and some snacks and stuff. And we're just gonna chill out and then, you know, do our thing and hopefully see some more sights and go home. But I hope that you enjoyed watching a little bit of this and this is kind of why you know it's good to be self-employed you can just take breaks once in a while enjoy your life and hopefully uh you enjoyed seeing this see you later